Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. I think last we left off we had some quests left to do. And let's see, we have this a basis for blackmail. Natty sent me another owl saying that she can sneak away without her mother knowing. I'm gonna meet her outside Hogsmeade. Okay, had a big sneeze. <laughs> Okay, surprise meeting. Last I talked, I guess to Poppy, she was worried about the Snidgets. She said to meet her in the Forbidden Forest to figure out our rescue plan. All right, uh, let's check the map and see if there are any new side quests showing up on the world map. Oh, Summer's Court match. Okay, let's go to it first. Hopefully we'll win us another round. Hello. Are you here for someone as caught? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Here we go. Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. Hmm. This one looks tricky. And she went straight for a fifty. That's not good. Maybe I can knock her ball off the court though. Uh let's see. Oh, that was a dud. Such grace, <laughs> finesse. Maybe I'll be able to get the next one. Oh, she's gonna lose that one. Surely. Whoa, what? Concentrate, Charlotte. <laughs> this is gonna be a zero point game. Watch her land on fifty. Oh, yep, I'm in trouble now. Precisely as planned. Let's see, maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, nope. Zero. Wow, that was bad. Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. Didn't I say I adore competition? Wow, big fat goose egg. I wonder if I'll get another chance or not. Hard luck. Care for another round? Oh, you know I will. Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. I wish we could move it along a little bit quicker, though. I hate to lose again. That is one thing I'm a little surprised is that the game didn't have more mini games. And maybe there's something else to unlock, but this interaction with the student stuff is pretty fun. And you know, I assume that I've done all the dueling I can do, but I could be wrong. Interesting that. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Interesting that her move was actually different this time. I wonder if it plays different scenarios to give you a chance of winning. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Precisely as planned. Well, it's gonna be tricky to overcome. But might be able to hit her ball all the way. Akio. There we go. Hmm. Nice technique. Like I at least scored more. Yeah. Precisely as planned. There 
There we go. Uh oh. Is that gonna lose it for me? Uh oh. You almost beat me there, but I almost beat you too. Did we tie? We did. Oh wow. Well. I didn't know that was possible. Hard luck. Care for another round? Yeah. Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's Lisa the spirit. scored better than zero. <laughs> Similar to her previous, our previous match. Is planned. So, no, no. Such grace, <laughs> finesse. I'm gonna be going to this game this whole stream at this rate. Ooh, yeah, I don't feel like there's any way out of this one. I mean, I might be able to knock one of those out, but I think I have just as high a chance of knocking it straight into the 50 score point area. I'm gonna try to target the other one to mess up. Oh well. what it is that's so cursed about this level but it is tough guess we might as well try to cannonball her setup it's the only way we have a chance <laughs> should let go <laughs> such grace <laughs> finesse <laughs> all right we'll give it another shot Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. Akio. Precisely as planned. All right. Looks like she's going for the same play as last time. Accio. All right, that's got to be a fifty-pointer. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig! I'll never top that. Accio. Okay. Good. Let's see, I guess we'll try not here. Oh. Got a bad balance on that one. Oof. I get thirty on this one. Alright. Here we go. All right, we got it. Good. Hmm, nice technique. Wow, you are good. That was tough. At least we won it by a wide margin this time. <laughs> I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I practice as much as I can. Practice, eh? I suppose I could try that. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. All right. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by spin witches when you can.
Hmm, would be funny if I can like bounce off of these if I hit them. All right, time for sandwiches. Oh, to the map. There they are. Alright, hopefully I'm about to get my final Bream upgrade. Makes me sad to think that it's time for that already. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. 7,500. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. I'll go ahead and buy the other You'll brand. You'll be thrilled with that broom. Too. I promise you. Why not? We don't really have anything else to spend the money on. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I got something to sell. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Worked out nicely. All right, now we got the fastest broom. Uh, let's see. Go back to the map and see if we see anything else. Side quest. All's well that ends bell. Hufflepuff and Astronomy Wing seems upset about something. Perhaps I can help. Oh, I wonder if this has to do with those uh, bells that I found that one time. I think they were owl shaped that were displaced, and I have to uh, put them back on or something. Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. Now what am I supposed to do? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I okay. imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Thomas Brown knows more about 
I'm gonna take the long way there instead of warping. It'll be fun. Oh, look at the decorated tree here. Oh, I love it with the floating candles and everything. Pretty. And another one too. Nice. Must be upstairs. Aha, uh -huh. here's one of them. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Doing, doing. Okay, this one should probably go here, right? One up, one to go. There we go. to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Let's see, where's Revenge. the other one? There's only two to put up. Ah, oh, there it is. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. Black isn't. <laughs> nice. There you go. Seems like a pretty short mission. Hee 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 Practicing my cat calling. All right. Don't forget what that awful puff girl said in fourteen twenty. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Okay, another one down. Let's see what we got next. I don't think there are any missions in Hogsmeade. Looks like Hogwarts is showing a flag still. Maybe that's just because there's a uh, main quest. Okay, I think those are both the main quest things. Mm -hmm. Okay then, I guess we'll go for it. Um, let's go back to our quest tracker. And let's do... Let's do this one, it sounds fun. We use our uh, broom upgrade to fly the rest of the way quickly. Oh, 
Well, that does seem a little bit quicker. Cover that 150 meters this. pretty quickly. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a Centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, I guess we are just back to waiting until another owl delivers a message or something. Okay then. Um, 
Let's go on to the mission with Maddie, I suppose. I think I'll just fly over there from here. It'll be fine using our upgraded broom. Oh, too fast. We'll fly low and slow. Actually, we're gonna dodge some of this hill. <laughs> as much of it as we can. Let's see, do I have to worry about the booster anymore? Oh, uh, yep, yeah, you do. Wow, definitely feel like I'm going faster than before, though. This is so close to Hogsmeade. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Okay, so we had to speak with some random people. <laughs> Too bad it's Hogsmeade and I can't fly there. <laughs> so I think it's a little strange for Hogsmeade that you can't fly a broom, but I guess they just figured it was a bad experience with uh, how tight some of these spaces are. Okay, I guess this one's upstairs. It's under the three broomsticks. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. A 
Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our binky needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep us between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Still your drink. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles' other two friends. Mr. Bickles. Okay, one of them's 51 away, and let's see how far away that one is. And that one's not even registering yet. I guess we'll run up this way first. I wonder if this is going to be Otto Filbert. Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Oh, still your money. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. 
All right, nice. Here we go. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Oh, that's like, uh, figure out what's in here and steal it first. Hmm. Same direction. Rebellion. Okay, forty three galleons. Oh, oh, Kirk Quidditch calls. And 52 more galleons. Okay, well that was worth a thought. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Okie dokie. I always get lost in Hogsmeade, so this would be nice to have a quicker way out. My poor computer. I'm seeing some frame rate dips every now and then. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Rebellion. Oh, here's something. Hogsmeade, the only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students, 30 years and up for centuries. Okie dokie. Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. That's she can cool. cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Okay, let's see. Ravelio. Looking creepy. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> That's pretty threatening. Work hard and don't be afraid to fail. 
that is the path of a leader. When I was a girl, I Maybe we'll come back later and unlock that place. Oh man, that's on a mission. Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Another Ashwander hideout. Nice. The footprints led to this room. It's gonna move the barrels forward, I'm guessing. The hidden door. Mm. Rebellio. Alright, so two optionals. Find the book of poems and find the love letter. Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. No, nah, it's okay. We're gonna find him. Rebellion. Using that girl as bait. I want to come for us. I can't just jump over there. Harlow said their friend had been reckless enough. He wants them alive. He's a mandarin. Exposed on Alright, time to use some other spells. Other potions are there. Skips the fine print, and I have to break a few bones. All right, where are the book in the letter? Bum 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 bum. It's like several treasures throughout the area. Ah, uh -huh. let's appear. Ah, this is it. My darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over and am certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. Dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. Do not wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love. And I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within your grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed now i'm off to read your letter once more yours affectionately Otto rosie. Dimble's love letter from rosie he wanted me to destroy this if i found it Revelio. all right let's see if we can find the other things <laughs> It's definitely a treasure back here. I wonder if it's the other thing. Rebellion. Nope, just money. I 
here's something else. Some other passageway. Yes, we can go. Yep, upstairs. We should speak to her again. Arrest her. 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 Arrest Oh, he went way over there. Maybe that's somebody different. Christ. What have you done? Oh, How dare you do such a thing to me? Bombarda. Flash Congratulations. Oh. Here we go. Need to look up to his uh Revelio. Weaknesses. That took a lot of hits. Hmm. A little bit worried about going there without first clearing out all the treasures in here. You're as dear to me as an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You're as led by me as a crep could be. And whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a pillar in my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Also, Billa Filbert. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Feline plates. Revelio. Oh, I guess that's from, uh, old What's Her Face? Um, Umbridge's office. Or she had a wall full of the cat plates. <laughs> I forgot that that was something you could get in this game. That Pretty cool. Must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you need to do. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. All right. A lot of MacGuffins in this quest. Uh, Revelio. Let's see. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. That's funny, I can still hear him during the lock. Just the right one. He'll be glad to have this back. All right, nice. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Do your thing. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. Revelio. Thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disagree with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. 
Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Alright, here we go. Wonder if this is gonna be like a mini boss style fight. Hmm. I guess they're just talking about the ones that Let's find I could have evaded. And put an end to Halo once and for all. Okay then. I think I may go back to the room of requirement if this is the end of the mission for the moment. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay. I'm gonna go to the rumor requirement. Swinging well, it's not in my. Okay, let's see if I identify. Hey, Crimson Mystic Ensemble. It looks like it is actually an upgrade, so that'd be great. Ooh, something that's higher level than what I can take. Okay, it's gonna be here in the outfit. 98, so it's plus plus two overall. Well darn, I have to get to level 34. I'm just not there yet. How about the headwear? Okay, looks like everything but that one legendary. I'm only like halfway to level 34, so it's gonna take quite a while to get to that plus two. And what a bummer. All right, let's see. Gwendolyn's Owl. Blackmailed into compliance, Gwendolyn's Owl was a reluctant Ashwander informant within the Ministry of Magic. After being found out and fired, Gwendolyn was forced to join Rookwood to protect and provide for her family. I didn't even notice that she was a named enemy when I took her out. Oh, here we go, the kitty plates. And let's see. I think we have at least one for Hogsmeade. Yep. Okay. Oh, we've well, got some LT. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. <laughs> Nice. OK, 
Okay, let's see what else we got to do. Alright, uh, let's see how we're doing on potions. We're doing pretty well. We can make an endurance, but I don't know if it's going to matter too much. Too bad he can't sit in the uh, furniture. I'm actually surprised that they didn't add like a basic seated position. I can understand if you don't want to animate a lying down, but just sitting sounds like it would be easy enough. Okay, let's see about our last little collection here. All the different brooms I collected. I need to try to get the other ones. Okay, I think that puts us at a good pause point for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll credits. Say thank you for watching. It's been S T R Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.